Today I will be showing you the best spots in New World to farm iron efficiently and also level up your mining skill while you're at it. Now the reason this spot is so good is because it's pretty much deserted of other players and also most importantly there are no bots here which is starting to become a little bit of a problem right now in New World. But to give you an idea I've tested this route six times already and each run is going to take you 10 to 12 minutes to do. You start at a city and end at a city so you can deposit all of your iron in the storehouse but you'll be finding around 50 iron ore veins and nine of them are sometimes going to be contested but the rest of them will pretty much be guaranteed there to mine when you get there so assuming you mine all of these ore veins you're going to be getting between 800 and 1000 iron ore every 10 minutes which will also give you around 8,000 or so mining experience per run. So this is obviously a fantastic way to level up mining and I'm already level 99 because I've been going around the entire map trying to find the best spots to mine iron. And there are lots of great spots but this is one of the best simply because there's no one else here and the route is so ideal. Let me show you guys on the map here. We're on the very southwest corner of the map corner here in Cutlass Keys region. On the top right of this region, you'll find the Cutlass Keys Village. So if you go ahead and zoom into this village, basically the whole route is just a big circle around this mountain. And it takes you around 10 minutes to do, and you get all of those resources from it. So essentially you start this route on the southwest corner of the village, just here on the map where my mouse is. And then you go all the way around this mountain range, and you come back through this entrance where the storage shed is and then you just go around and you repeat it every 10 minutes. So you're going to get lots of experience and iron ore from obviously doing this method. But wait, before you skip forward, I made another video in the description that gives you several different tips on how you can make mining super efficient in terms of increasing your mining luck skill to the maximum so that you get gems that can then be sold for money or used in gem crafting and also increase your mining speed and efficiency of how much iron ore you get per iron node. So that video is linked below if you want to watch it or you can just go ahead and start mining, it's up to you. So we're starting here on the map at the west entrance to the Cutlass Keys settlement. From this entrance, we're gonna head straight west out of the city here. This character build only has 11 strength, so you're actually witnessing mining at its slowest for the duration of this video. Pretty much straight west around this corner towards the cliff face. And this is going to be our first big iron vein. Always get the biggest node first, just in case another player does come along. And then we're going to have a look on the map here. You can see this is the location I'm currently mining just here. So we're going to get all these nodes. Next from here, we're going to turn around and we're literally just going to run along this area towards the south here. Directly ahead, we're going to find another iron deposit. Now these are the sort of two most visible iron deposits but as you can see it's kind of hidden away still so a lot of people don't see this one from the road. I'm going to go ahead and mine this one next. Once you've mined this have a look on the map and to the east you'll see this sort of section of rock here. Right in the corner that's where the next node's going to be so just mark it on your map to make it easier to follow and we're going to run over there now. It's just up this rocky mountain face so the best way to get up is to just go southeast here. And then we can run round to the left. And obviously there's some alchemy ingredients there you might want to grab as well. But we're purely focusing on our mining right now. So just up the very top here, we'll start to see this iron. You can go ahead and mine this. So we're already 94 mining and we've got 169 iron so far. We've also found some rare crystal material because of our luck. So we're going to carry on going south right now. We were just here and now we're going to get up here next. So if we come up to the left, you can just climb up. I hope this uh, is, is not too fast for you guys. You can see these two ones have already been mined. How depressing. But don't worry about it. We're now going to drop down to the road here like this. Take no full damage. And we're literally just going to run down the road. If you can see, I'm now running down this road here. There's actually another deposit up here on the banks. But in order to get there, you kind of have to go like around the road and then back on yourself. 
and then there's tons more iron in this next area also some enemies but they're pretty easy to avoid and i'll show you how to do that in a moment so we're going to run around to the left and we're just going to climb up on this cliff here and what you'll spot is there's some more iron deposits just around the corner hidden away just here let's go ahead and mine these and we're done now we're going to drop back down to the path again don't waste time climbing and we're just going to run up here up this hill carry on going southeast and you'll see this big ruin entrance right in front of you just here now at this point get out your map and just over here you're going to want to mark on your map so literally just to the right of this wall, put another map marker. And then what we're going to do is we're going to walk to the left of this ruin. We don't want to like aggro all of these mobs ideally. And by the way, if you're a low level and you're doing this, if you actually crouch, it does actually make the enemies lose aggro. So he won't pick up aggro as close as he would if I was running past him. It's kind of like a good tip here. Alternatively, you can just always kill them as well like so depends what level you are uh, when you're doing this we're just going to head up this hill towards the quest marker that we put on our map there and then just jump up the rocks here and you can already see that this would be where the iron node is the big one seems to have been mined but never mind we can grab this small one there were three nodes here you can see one's just over here on the left and another one's down there Oh look, the one to the left has actually just respawned, so... So now if you look on your map and look directly south, this next big rock over here, that's where you're going to find the next deposits. So it's pretty much directly south from your location. I'm going to go ahead and walk over here and mine these. There's one down. Already got 270 iron. There's another one here and another one just there. And then if you look to the south in the distance, you can actually already see the... The other iron all in the distance just over there which is nice because obviously it's already been mined you don't need to go over there and waste your time but we must mine it just jump off this cliff yolo also eat some food on the way by the way guys if you're finding this video helpful so far please do hit the like button because it really does help out my channel um, in growing i'm just trying to make as many helpful guides as i can about new world especially to help out new players so you can link them to your friends and whatnot uh, and subscribe if you want future videos on the best locations to farm because I'll be carry on sort of updating this stuff as we go. So after you've mined those, we've got a small quartz crystal as well. You can see this is where we are on the map right now. Directly to the right, just here, you're going to find some more iron. So we're going to get out of the map and we're just going to head straight towards our quest marker. The easiest way to navigate this area is really just by keep plonking down a quest marker until you get the route down correctly. And then you won't even need to bother coming back to this video. You know, you can do this yourself. Watch out, by the way, because there are some wildcats around here. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this one. After it's dead, we're just going to carry on heading up to the north here where we put our quest marker and you can actually see just where this guy's mining here on top of this rock we will find some more iron already at 400 iron which is fantastic progress and then the last one's just here now from here there's actually another iron ore vein just over here so it's just where that campsite is there now you can skip this one if you're a low level because you probably will aggro some of the mods mobs i'm just going to go ahead and kill them and you can see this is where the iron ore vein is. There's a couple... Actually, there's three nodes here. After you've mined those rocks, open up the map. And just to the right of your location, just here is where you're going to find the next one. But make sure you put your map marker just over here on the map. Because you actually need to climb up this mountain. So we're going to head straight towards this mountain where these uh, enemies are mining. These corrupted here. Now you can do this without aggroing anyone. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. Like so. And then we can go ahead and climb up here. And then just walk all the way around the edge. So we can get on top of this mountain. Now these are pretty much never mined. Because I don't think anyone even knows they're up here to be honest. Let's go ahead and mine them. Now we're going to go ahead and look north, open your map, and just where this gap is, we're going to go ahead and put another quest marker over there, which is pretty much right ahead. You can already see the iron node down there. 
Now, to get off here without taking too much, I mean, you can just jump. There's literally no full damage in this game. But if you slide against the rocks, it's a good way of making sure you don't take any damage whatsoever. Watch out for this uh, enemy at the bottom here. And then you can just run to the right and mine this iron node just here. Starting with this one and then obviously the huge one up there. So we got that one. Now let's grab this massive one. The size of this man is huge. And there's another one down here. And now after we got that, we're going to walk all the way to the right here, just around the edge. And don't worry if you aggro these enemies because you can just carry on running. And then straight on down here, over this cliff, we're going to find some more iron just down here. Let's go ahead and mine this one. If I show you on the map again, we're now just over here. We went from this little gap all the way to here. Don't forget to drop down here after you've mined that one because there's another one just behind you. Then the third node is just down here. We're going to go all the way to the west up this hill here. If you look on the map, I'm literally heading towards this cave that has star metal in it. I'm also going to harvest this shock bulb because I really need the air motes right now. Arcana guide is incoming, by the way, guys, so uh, subscribe for that if you're interested. Grab this, the shock spire. I'll have a guide on these two in the future, but it's just on the way. And the load stone sell for quite a bit. And then straight here, we're going to find even more iron, which is fantastic. All right, so we've got all that iron. Now we're just here on the map. If you want to get yourself some star metal, the choice is, is that you can go into this cave called High Pass Cavern and you'll find several star metal nodes within there. But you can only mine them if you have level 100 mining. But after you've gone in there and you've mined all those nodes, you can carry on mining the rest of the iron. And for that, we're going to put a quest marker just here. And then we're going to go ahead and run over there. I'm going to ignore these uh, AI that are following me. And we're just going to drop down these rocks here. Because there's quite a bit of a, a fall now we've got to take. So just head towards the quest marker you've placed in the distance there. And now what you'll see is that you can actually drop just down here. As long as you hug the wall, you literally don't take any full damage. And then we're just going to jump off this bit. And we can walk around this edge here. And you can see right down there is the iron. So we're just here on the map now, really close to Cutlass Key's village. So we're just going to go ahead and slide down these rocks so we can get to the iron. Like so. And then we can harvest it. Now there's even more iron before we go back to town, so bear with me. Damn, this game looks good there. Now, I'm going to put a map marker just over here. So just drop down. And then we're going to head straight over to where we put that map marker. We're going to find some more iron just around the corner here. But it looks like this one's actually been harvested. So we're going to open the map again. And we're going to click our map marker just inside this V area just here. And we're going to go ahead and walk over there. I think this guy might have actually already mined it just here. Yep, he's already mined these three nodes that we would have gotten. Um, and now we're just going to walk all the way back up here. Because there's some more nodes over there. You can see there's a few more players in this area though. Because it's not as high in the mountains. So it's more likely that these will be taken. Though last time I came here, none of them were taken. So, here's another iron ore vein. And then, there would be another one just over here. And at this point, you would have 1,000 iron. So, we're just going to drop down, and we can now go back into town. Which is, obviously, just here. Um, and what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to come to our storage unit. And we're just going to go ahead and drop everything into it. You can see i got a few jewels here. And we got our 800 iron. Usually it's going to be around 1,000 if not all of them are up. 
most of them will be but you usually at least get around 800 and then we're going to just you know walk through town here and then leave and do the entire loop again because everything would have respawned again so you can get all of the iron again and you literally just get 1000 iron every time you repeat this route now you may be wondering to yourself how much experience will i get if i smelted all of that iron that i got so let's go ahead and make all 616 iron ingots 36 experience each so what's that like around 22,176 experience which has leveled me up to 89 smelting now the average price of iron ingots is around two gold for my server currently so that'll give me about 1200 gold but i don't actually plan on selling them i'm actually going to use them now if you haven't already i also recommend checking out the best tips and tricks for mining iron efficiently and i'll link that video down below in the description because it literally just makes everything you do and the time you take to mine iron or any other resource for that matter so much more efficient so i recommend doing that as soon as possible to maximize your mining efficiency and hey drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it because i would appreciate the support thank you so much for watching